So you wanna build a hog barn. Well, this is what it's gonna take. But before we get into the nitty gritty of the things to build a hog barn, we're gonna establish a few ground rules to help you guys better understand this and make it more simple for everybody. Rule number one, there's gonna be a lot of ranges of numbers thrown at you guys. Some stuff costs about 35,000 to 45,000 for example. We, for the simplicity of this video, are gonna go with the highest amount per range of dollar amounts. If something costs 35 to 45,000 dollars, we're gonna just go with 45,000 dollars to give you guys a rough estimate of how much everything would cost if it was the most expensive. Rule number two, there's a lot of fluctuation between how much hog barns would cost depending on where you live, depending on what company you grow for, depending on what hog barn design you go with. The other thing is, depending on who you grow pigs for, or if you grow pigs for yourself, some integrators might require you to build a barn a certain way, so it's going to cost you this amount of money. But if you're doing it yourself, you can do it as, as cheap as you want to as expensive as you want. So some of this stuff you may or may not need. We've pretty much got it down to a science to where we like it, but that's how we like our hog barns. Doesn't mean you guys like it that way, and you can do a lot of different things. There's a million ways to build a hog barn. So this is just a rough estimate of how much it would cost for you guys to get started to build a barn kind of like ours. And lastly, rule number three, this video is for you guys. Just a little bit of a disclaimer. Some of the stuff that we put in this video, we didn't have to pay for. For example, ground. Dad and I already had ground to build a hog barn on. But because this video is for you guys, we accounted for how much ground you would need to build a hog barn and we added that cost. Hope you guys are picking up what I'm laying down. And with that being said, let's get into the cost breakdown. The first thing you need is land. You're gonna need a chunk of ground to build this thing on. And you can put a 2400 on one acre but it's pretty tight. You're gonna need more than an acre to build it, so you might as well buy two. And I don't know what part of the world you live in, but around here, land doesn't go for cheap. So you can figure you're gonna spend between 8,000 and maybe $14,000 an acre just to have some place to put it. And then you need the land for all that manure to go on. So that's the first thing you gotta come up with. The next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna have to dig a hole. And if you're not gonna do it yourself, you're gonna have to hire a real good dirt man. And he's gonna have to backfill that hole when you get the building built, and he's gonna have to smooth it all out. So you're gonna have to pay for the hole getting dug, you're gonna have to pay for the backfilling, and you're gonna have to pay for the labor. And that's gonna cost you anywhere from $14,000 to $18,000. To get that hole dug, you're gonna need to have somebody come put concrete in it. And on a 2400, you're probably gonna have over 700 yards of concrete. I think we were right about 725 on this with the office and cistern, maybe a hair over that. It's going to cost you over $100 a yard for concrete, probably 110 could be more depending on where you're at. And then the concrete labor, just say $100 a yard for that. And then you got rebar, so you're looking at probably about $175,000 for concrete. So now that you got the concrete, you're going to have to have something for the pigs to stand on. You're going to have to get some slats. For the slats, the beams, the transportation to get them to the site, the people to install them, it's going to cost you around $100,000 to do all. So now that you got something for the pigs to stand on, you're going to need a building. And depending on who your integrator is, or if you raise your own pigs, it might cost you less or more than what we paid for. What we paid for for this building was about $170,000. Now you're down to putting in all the equipment. And this is where prices can vary a lot because like in our case, we're doing wean to finish, so we've got the extra cost of having nipple bars and brooder heaters, where if it was feeder pig, you wouldn't need those items. But for the equipment as far as the heaters, the feeders, the inlets, the fans, uh, the lights, the gates, the electrical and the wiring, the labor to install all that, the freight, we spent about 180,000. The other thing that can vary a lot is if you're growing for an integrator, they're going to tell you the equipment that they want you to have and the layout. Whereas, if you're buying your own pigs or raising your own pigs, then you might have a different idea of what you want. And all those things change the cost of equipment. Next up, you're going to have to keep the pigs warm. So you're going to need gas. A lot of the time, most building companies don't put the gas lines in their bid. So you got to hire an outside company to do it for you. 
In our case, we had FS do it. They supply all our LP tanks and LP. It costs us about $8,000 for the tanks and for the install of the gas lines. So you gotta have water. It doesn't do you much good if you made it this far and you don't have any water. So you're gonna need a well, and in our case, we wanted to have a cistern as a backup water supply in case we had problems. So the well, there's a big variance because it all depends on how deep you gotta go and then how far you gotta bring that water from where the well is. But in our case, it cost us about $17,000 to have the well and the pump and all of that stuff installed. And then $10,000 for this 10 foot by 20 foot by eight foot deep cistern. So you're looking at about $27,000 for the whole ball of wax. You may or may not need one of these. In our case, because this building's power ventilated, we've gotta have a generator because if the power goes out, we can't just lower the curtains. We've gotta have power all the time. And by the time you get a good quality generator, the transfer switch, and the extra wire that it's gonna to take to go to the building and back so that when the power goes out, it switches and back feeds, it's gonna cost you anywhere between 35 to 45,000 for a generator transfer switch and all the wiring. In this case, I think we spent right about $36,000. So now that you got this amazing hog barn built, you're gonna need an office because you're gonna need somewhere where you're gonna to have to have the control to, that runs your whole hog barn and tells you all the important things you need to know. The concrete and building of this office got added into the building costs for the concrete and the building. So we're gonna just deduct that from the actual cost of the office. So all the extra stuff that we bought for the office, all the appliances, washer dryer, water heater, um, refrigerator, internet that we need to use for the controller, the shower, the grades that we put in so we could wash our boots off, the boot rack, all that stuff, it costs us about $2,500 to do all that. To some people, that might seem a little overboard on spending that much on an office, but you kind of have to think ahead because we did all these things for one, biosecurity, because that's becoming a kind of a huge deal when it comes to taking care of hogs. The more you can do to keep everybody clean when they come and everybody clean when they leave, is just better for everybody, the pigs and you included. That's number one. And then number two, you kind of have to think, someday I might not want to be taking care of these barns when I'm old and feeble. I thought ahead of, you know, taking the time and spending a little bit of extra money on a good office so that when you hire somebody on board, you know, they can they can wash their coveralls here. They can keep everything clean. And I just think it's a good idea to think ahead like that. And I'd recommend it to anybody. Now that you got the barn built, got the office built, it's running, it's all good to go. But you gotta make sure that you are covered as far as insurance goes. Because if this thing blows, blows up or burns down, you're gonna want somebody to cover you so you can build it up again. And that's gonna cost you about a dollar pig space or $2,400 a year. $600 of that $2,400 is goes to a special kind of insurance called care custody control. And that's for if I do anything stupid like shut the fans off and the whole barn full of pigs dies, the company we grow for is insured and they can cover that loss. And then on top of the insurance for the barn, you're gonna have to have life insurance. Uh, just in case if I ever drop over dead, it can go to my dad or it can go to my brother or it can go to whoever. And as far as life insurance goes, I'm not going to give you guys a number on how much I spend on life insurance a month just because it's pretty personal depending on the person and it varies a ton. So I'll let you guys figure that out for yourself and you may pay more than I do or you may pay less than I do. So today I'm worth more dead than alive. Hopefully dad doesn't try to off me or hit me with a shovel. So here you are. You've almost made it. You got just about everything done, which is good because you're just about broke. And what's left can make or break a project. It's all the little stuff and the site costs. So how much rock are you gonna need for the lane? And how far away from the road did you build this building? So in our case, we've got a pretty long lane. So we spent quite a bit of money on rock. But then you also gotta think about the stuff that your integrator may or may not supply to you, or if you're doing it on your own, you're gonna need all this stuff. You're gonna need panels, you're gonna need boots, you're gonna need coveralls, you're gonna need gloves, you're gonna need a whole bunch of small stuff, and then is the power company gonna bring the power to the transformer, or are you gonna have to pay to get it back there? So if you're on like an REC, a lot of times they'll pay for it. If you're on a, a big utility, they might or might not. In our case, the utility brought the power to the transformer, which was awesome. 
but those small items can pile up. Um, one more thing is the dumpster. Most building bids will have a dumpster included, but you can save some money if you just get the dumpster yourself because all they're doing is calling somebody local and then they're putting their margin on to have that dumpster here. So we paid for our own dumpster. So when it's all said and done for us, the little stuff was about $20,000. So you made it. You built your first building. You got pigs in the barn. You're starting to get paid every month. Your head's just above water. This project, Turnkey, cost me roughly $750,000. So $750,000 versus $775,900 is kind of a big difference. Like I said in the beginning of this video, there was some stuff we didn't have to pay for. We already had ground to put a hog barn on, so we didn't have to go out and buy any of that. Also, we want the most expensive price in any given selected range of numbers. So if it was gonna be 14 to $18,000 for something, we want the $18,000. And the reason we did that was to give you guys a rough maximum number that you would have to pay to build a hog barn. There's just a ton of factors, but this gives you, you know, a rough number that you can kind of have an idea of how much it would cost you if you're starting from scratch. And you might be thinking, that's a big chunk of money, Sawyer. And it is. But just like everything, these buildings have gone up in price. They keep getting more expensive over time. But still, in my honest opinion, I think it's the best way to get started in agriculture as a young person. And before you ask, because I know you're thinking it, in an upcoming video, we're going to show you how we make it, how much money hog farmers make.